take a moment and think, when was the last time that you asked someone a question? Maybe it was, what's for dinner? Or, or maybe it was something like, what's the meaning of life? Or perhaps you're struggling to remember the last time that you asked a question. But we want you to reset your attitude to, to how you view the world and how you question things. So we're going to tell you about something that we did this summer. Imagine 400 young scientists from all around the world, from 60 different countries, spending two weeks together at Imperial College in the heart of London. We're talking about LIYSF, the London International Youth Science Forum. On the LIYSF, you, you have lectures from, from leading scientists who are at the, at the edge of their fields and visits to, to cutting edge research facilities, talks from everything on how our genes affect how we feel pain to, to the kind of things that you could do with the world's most powerful laser. And of course, as they say, work hard, play hard, and there's also a really great social scene on LICIF, so there are theater trips, drama performances, music performances, and of course, the LIYSF Olympics. It's two completely unique weeks, and we were looking forward to it so much before we went, but fear of the unknown meant that it was quite a daunting situation. Look around you. There are over 500 people in this hall. Imagine that you've never seen any of them before. They are, all from two, uh, they are all from different countries, and you're about to spend the next two weeks surrounded by them. What would you be feeling? What questions and thoughts would be going through your mind as you try to establish new relationships with them? Would they include, will they find me interesting? Do they want to hear what I have to say? Do they speak my language? In fact, all of these things were circling around my mind as I approached a group of people for the first time at the forum without the company of my peers at Valley Broom. So, with all that, this anxiety building up inside of me, how did this moment turn out? This is how it turned out. <laughs> Instant friendships were created in a way that I never thought possible before. The anxious thoughts became unimportant and were, un and were forgotten. From this point on, I realized that I had a free pass to talk, engage, and be inspired by any of the 400 people at the forum who were all so different, who were bonded by one common love of science. This was my very first day at the forum, and already I had received the gift of a brand new perception on something, something as fundamental as meeting new people. And this trend continued throughout the two weeks I spent there. My main fear on the LIYSF was completely the opposite. What if someone asked me a question that I had no idea what the answer was to? I was pretty sure the majority of people on the forum would be smarter than myself. But if the forum taught us anything, it's that not knowing something really isn't a big deal. If someone asks you a question you don't know the answer to, you're prompted to find out for yourself in one way or another. And asking questions was a great way to interact with new people and make new friends. We soon realized that there really was no such thing as a stupid question because in every question that we asked, there was something to be learned. Um, fear was completely irrational, and we were all in the same boat about that. So, as we've seen, questioning is something that we do all the time. It's an integral part of what makes us human. Whether we're questioning ourselves or questioning the world around us, it's always going on. It's all too easy to start overthinking things, to question your question, to question whether your question is worth asking, and that sort of thing. But as Charlotte's already said, we really did discover that there's no such thing as a stupid question. From asking serious things like you know, properties of objects in nth dimensional topographies and fundamental questions about the universe, to some silly suppositions like what would happen if we covered the sun in a Googleplex of mice. A Googleplex is a very big number, in case anyone had that question. <laughs> um, we found that there was always something to be gained from asking those questions. You know, putting yourself out there and maybe seeming a bit silly, but wanting to find something new. It was always worth doing. In fact, questioning really is important in all aspects of life. It what, it's what drives innovation, scientific innovation and artistic innovation. You, know, uh, you never really understand something as well as if you've questioned it. Imagine a world for a minute where nobody ever questioned anything. A world in science without people like Newton or Darwin or Einstein or Feynman, uh, where we still live in the dark ages or worse, still live in caves, hunting woolly mammoth for food and never understanding anything beyond what we saw in our own existence. 
imagine a world in art without the great questions that can't be addressed by science being asked, where nobody questioned emotion or what it is to be human. A world without curiosity is a world that I wouldn't want to live in. We all thoroughly enjoyed our time on the forum. We came back different people as when we left. Due to the friendships and relationships that we met, the people we met on the forum, it feels like it's still not over. And we are constantly reminded of everything we learned there, how it's so important that everything is worth understanding, everything is worth questioning, and that is something we should strive to do. Thank you. Thank you.